Graduated college with a degree in design, and I redesigned some popular logos I think we can all agree are ugly. So here we go. Um, these are my redesigns. The first logo I chose to work on was Starbucks. I don't like anything about it. I hate this green color. I don't like this figure. I don't even know who that is. Maybe the president or something. The font is also just tacky and outdated. So I redesigned it with more of a happier feel. I wanted to maintain the integrity of the stars in the original logo because I truly think that's the only good thing about it. And then I chose this nice contemporary font that pulls it all together. The second contestant was H&R Block. I just hate the block. So now I, I put it in a circle instead. The last victim was Apple. I hate this logo. There's no symmetry going on. There's not even any words indicating which brand this is. You just have to guess, so I don't like that. This is my redesign of Apple's logo. I thought they needed a type that was fun and appealed to the youth like me and I enjoyed a lot. I also did start to miss the block from H&R Block, so I reincorporated it into this logo. I graduated college with a degree in design and recently I redesigned some logos I thought were hideous. After going through the comments, people had suggested other brands that I should redesign, so I chose another three. So here are my rebrands of these hideous logos. First we have Target. It doesn't make any sense. It feels outdated and very childish to me. I wanted to draw inspiration from its predecessor, Kmart. I loved Kmart and I'm very upset that there's not Kmart anymore. So this is my version of Target's new logo. I chose a darker tone of red because it's a little bit more mature and I chose a nicer font to elevate it. I included the deer because this made more sense to me than the circles. The second contestant was TikTok. Nothing about this logo resembles time or a clock. This is my redesigned logo of TikTok. I kept the same colors because they were okay. And then I chose this font because it reminds me of cops. Lastly, this is the most highly requested one. It's NASA. I know that they have to, a lot to do with outer space and stars. I don't like the colors. I don't like the font. I don't like anything about it. I don't know why they tried to like include a bird too. This doesn't work for me. So this is my redesign of NASA's logo. I chose Comic Sans because everybody knows that font and likes it a lot. When I was designing this logo, I really tried to keep it simple. So simplicity was what I was going for. And I think I did a really good job. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see how much of an improvement that mine is compared to whatever that is. I graduated college with a degree in design and recently redesigned some logos I thought needed help. After going through the comments, a lot of large brands reached out to me for a new logo, so I said yes. I couldn't get to all of them, but I guess I'd be willing to make another video if you guys want to see those. Without further ado, here are some of my redesigns. First, we're starting with NASCAR. I don't like this whole tilt that's going on, and these lines are all very inconsistent. I just think overall it's a really bad logo. This is my redesign. I wanted to make it look like the words were flying through the air at a very fast speed. This font overall is just more sophisticated as well. Next we have Tampax. It's not an awful logo, but we really need a stronger one, especially if we're competing with Trojan and Magnum. With that being said, I chose a stronger, more masculine font to fit my vision, and I also added a uh, line underneath it. The next brand who needed help was the Washington Post. Need I say more? So I added George W. Washington. We also added some props of color, some stars, and a more fun font that appeals to a wider group of people. I couldn't even read the previous one. Next I did Detroit's football team, the lines, and I don't really understand your logo. It needed to be simplified quite a bit, so I just cleaned it up, and this will look a lot nicer on jerseys, helmets, merchandise. Next was Ocean Spray, the juice company. There's a rule in graphic design where you only need one blue in a logo. I don't know why you have basically three. So I took a more artistic approach. I have a solid color blue, and then it contrasts with a nice orange. The next victim is Tinder. As a dating brand, I don't know how I'm supposed to trust you because your whole logo is lowercase and that doesn't sound very confident to me. I capitalized the logo and then I included a tagline just so people understand how the app works. Swipe right. Last and certainly, but maybe certainly least, we have Adobe. I kept the red 
um, but chose a way nicer font. This is such a refreshing logo overall and I really think I blew it out of the park. I graduated with a degree in design. I also am from the future, obviously. We need to talk about something today. Facebook's parent company changed their name to Meet Meta. Since I'm a design expert, I'll give my thoughts on their new logo and make a better one. I'm under the impression that this is an infinity sign making an M. I just think of soft pretzels. It said that blue is the color of the future by me. So something like this shade, not that shade at all. It's also said that in the future, everything's lowercase. So we need to do something about this M. Here's my design. This is the blue that I was talking about. This font looks like it came straight from a computer. I added this tagline to make sure that people don't get confused about who you are and what you are doing here. I flushed out the uh, idea that you guys had before. Instead of combining the infinity and M, I separated them, but still kept them together. So it's the same thing, but also it's not at the same time. If you like that, then we can, I like it. The signi- the signi- oh. The significance of the numbers around the logo are very significant. They represent world peace. <laughs> they represent pi. When I think of the future in virtual reality, this is exactly what I'm thinking about. This is a logo that'll stand the test of time. Any and all robots will love to read this someday. I love the future. Let me know what you guys think. I was recently inspired by the fact that Tropicana wanted to make toothpaste. I think toothpaste and orange juice is the best combination, so I was really happy to see this. Here are a few things I wish these companies would sell. This first one is pretty self-explanatory. Marshmallow flavored Gatorade. I've been asking for this for years. I think mixing this with hot chocolate would make the perfect holiday drink. Very tasty. Next, we're going to Walmart. Walmart has everything. We all know that. But there is one thing that Walmart doesn't have, and that is horses. I suggest the garden section to hold your horses. No opportunity for a pun there, but that is still a play on words. So that was pretty hilarious. And it's well lit and there's a nice breeze. The next product I would like to see is for Heinz to have tomato free ketchup. This is for everybody who has a peanut allergy. I feel for you, I'm here for you, and I will back you up any way that I can. Next, I think Nike should make waffles. Waffles are a great source of energy for your calves and such. I'm pretty sure that there is science backing up that they help your eyesight as well. My expertise is actually in design, so don't quote me on that. Last, this is an opportunity for Gucci. People spend a lot of your stores. There's no secret about that. So I think that every time someone spends at least $10 or more, you could send them home with a free gingerbread house. This is so hospitable. I love this idea. Let me know if you guys need any more help because I have a lot of ideas. I graduated college with a degree in design and have been recently redesigning some popular logos. These companies asked me in my comment section to help them with their logos. I think it was a great move. So without further ado, here are my redesigns. The first company we're starting with is Chubbies. I understand that you sell shorts and this communicates none of that to me. I don't mind your tagline, the weekend has arrived. I think it's okay. I removed the pineapple and replaced it with some shorts because we're not selling produce, we're selling shorts. I added a bolder font because I felt like it. And then I went ahead and simplified your tagline to be efficient. Next we have the makeup brand Urban DK. I hate the color purple and this little curly part over here makes me uncomfortable. I thought your logo could use some imagery so I added some I added some beauty and divinity to reflect the mission of your brand. Once your customers come and lock eyes with your logo, they will undoubtedly want to buy your products. Next we have Scrub Daddy. I like where you're going with the yellow, but your rendition of the Scrub Daddy looks nothing like the actual thing. I will also be removing the words the original. I rendered out a better version of the Scrub Daddy that looks much more recognizable to your product. I added some bubbles as a nice visual accent and then I changed your tagline which is a little more aggressive and dominant because there are a lot of cleaning products out there. We need to do better. Next is the toy brand Funko. Your logo is all right, but I actually do not like it. When I think of the word Funko, I think of fun. And when I think of fun, I think of water slides. Your color palette is much more eye-catching now and you'll be able to, your sales will go through the roof, I bet. Lastly, this guy named Kevin messaged me on Instagram and he has a band with his brothers. He said they need a new logo and I love to help out small artists, so I said yes. This is the logo that I found online when I googled them. This to me looks like a family crest, which is a bad idea in business. You don't want to mix family and business together, so 
Good luck with your career. I added a few pops of color in in a more sophisticated font. With your faces in your new logo, I think it'll help your fans to recognize who you are better. So good luck, and I hope you guys make it big. I graduated college with a degree in design and Pittman Reese. I've had some companies like McDonald's reach out to me and ask for a new logo for obvious reasons. So here are my redesigns. First, Nifol reached out to me. They do, forts like, they do sports like football and such. Your logo is very boring and I don't appreciate that pointy part. So I redesigned it in a much more patriotic way. I am also looked up and I'm pretty sure he is the president of the football in America. Next we have Amazon. Please help me to understand what's so significant about that Z and O that this arrow has to point right to them. It just feels like a waste of space to me. So this is your new logo. I added some green and breathed in a breath of fresh air that you guys really needed in your logo. I also understand that you work with boxes. So... The next victim was Doritos. Your logo feels aggressive to me. And I don't want my mom to look at it. So I softened your logo up a little bit. The readability is much nicer the way that I chose the font. And then you guys also needed a tagline because I don't know anything about how your chips taste. So I added a tagline too for you. The last victim is McDonald's. I don't think you meant for your logo to look suggestive, but right now this looks like two knees to me. I don't want to be thinking about knees while I'm eating my McChicken. Instead of emphasizing the M, I put emphasis on the O instead. And I was thinking this would be a really nice campaign to get some onion rings to pair nicely with your new logo. Let me know who I should help next. I graduated college with a degree in design and I'm really good at redesigning logos. I've had my eye on these logos for a while and they definitely need a change. Combining my incredible talents and zest for life, here are my brand new logos for these companies. First, I'm starting out with the gas station 7-Eleven. The logo is hard to read and I don't appreciate this obscure shape in the middle. The color combination is pretty bad, but I guess I'll roll with it. This is your brand new logo. It's much more legible now. You guys have a lot of great products, so I tried to showcase that in your new logo, including your hot dogs. Just to keep your mission clear, I added a tagline so people know who you are and what, you, you what services you provide. Second, we have Giz. Disney. I like it. But mine's better. I went with the theme of a night sky, so we have a nice gradient of some blue and some beautiful shining stars, including the North Star. I added some nice, beautiful orange right next to blue on the color wheel. And I added your mascot, Minnie Mouse. Next is the Oofs. Oofs. I had to Google this because I didn't know what it meant. It stands for Ultimate Fighting Championship. Why did you make your F look like this? I hate this angle. I felt a bit of a disconnect, so I wanted to pair a face with the logo. I know that he's one of the best ever, so I think that'll bring in a little more business for you guys. This font is also far more aggressive. The next victim is Camping World. I thought camping was supposed to be fun. I want to apologize to myself because I have to look at this. This is your brand new logo. Your color scheme and font are so much fun now. I also took out the A and replaced it with a tent for obvious reasons. I understand that you sell campers, so I made one your holding shape. Not to brag or anything, but that was pretty genius. Lastly, I have at and t. I'm not sure what your business is about, and your logo provides me with no information whatsoever. This font is okay, but this ball looks like it's unfinished. Maybe it's supposed to be some sort of baseball or basketball. So I went ahead and finished the design for you. Good luck with your sports career, you guys. I graduated college with a degree in design. I am the best design expert that there is. I was recently surfing the web and came across something I couldn't ignore. I don't know how to say this Gymshark, but you guys need help. I see that you have some new animal leggings and they're already on sale, which means they must be pretty bad. This is not doing it for me. I think if I stepped in and redesigned these, you guys could have a lot more sales. You guys are so welcome that I am doing this for you. I felt like a lot of the animals you chose didn't make any sense. Cheetahs are not known to run fast. I think they just hunt at night and stuff like that so there's no proof that they can even run. I came up with the idea of chickens. Penguins are known for their special skills like running and flying as well. I'm quite the gym rat myself. I do love to run and I know that the term chicken legs is a big compliment in the in the bodybuilding world. I also thought that we could take this time to talk about your logo. You guys this is really bad. This is a boomerang. Frankly if I threw it I would not want it to come back to me. So I gave your logo a brand new look. Here's an actual shark 
what you guys were going for and totally missed the mark on your first logo. I added some weights because I can probably lift 200 pounds, so this is a representation of me actually. And I added your founder's name, Jim Shark, to your logo to pay some respects to him. <laughs> Graduated college with a degree in design. I am the best design expert that there is. I was recently surfing the web and came across something I couldn't ignore. I don't know how to say this gym shark, but you guys need help. I see that you have some new animal leggings and they're already on sale, which means they must be pretty bad. This is not doing it for me. I think if I stepped in and redesigned these, you guys could have a lot more sales. You guys are so welcome that I am doing this for you. I felt like a lot of the animals you chose didn't make any sense. Cheetahs are not known to run fast. I think they just hunt at night and stuff like that, so... There's no proof that they can even run. I came up with the idea of chickens. Penguins are known for their special skills like running and flying as well. I'm quite the gym rat myself. I do love to run and I know that the term chicken legs is a big compliment in the in the bodybuilding world. I also thought that we could take this time to talk about your logo. You guys, this is really bad. This is a boomerang. Frankly, if I threw it, I would not want it to come back to me. So I gave your logo a brand new look. Here's an actual shark what you guys were going for and totally missed the mark on your first logo. I added some weights because I can probably lift 200 pounds, so this is a representation of me actually. And I added your founder's name, Jim Shark, to your logo to pay some respects to him. Graduated college with a degree in design. I have proof. Since we're getting close to the holidays, I thought I'd share my expertise and gifts with the world. I redesigned some pretty ugly, I redesigned some pretty ugly logos, so here we go. First, I'm starting with the Ohio State Buckeyes, and if you're wondering why I haven't moved yet, it's because I don't want to show you this. It's pretty bad. There's a lot to unpack here. Every good design expert like myself knows that you should not use primary colors in your logos. You guys also forgot to smooth out your O. Since you are the Buckeyes and you had no actual Buckeyes in your logo, I went ahead and fixed that for you. I chose a much more collegiate font. I can see this doing really well in your merchandise stores. You're going to be surprised at how many people are going to want to hug your mascot when he looks like that. Next is root insurance. It's very flat. Where's the story? Oh. This is your new logo. We now have... Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure where your second wheel went, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that we have a story now. According to root insurance, they believe in fairness and primarily base car insurance rates off of how you drive, not who you are. So I simplified it and added a, a much more professional tagline for you. Next. <clears throat> Next is a computer game called Fortnite. These logos are slowly but surely putting me to sleep. Your letters are not even. Good rule of thumb is if I can squeeze in between your kerning and that's not possible. So I made a couple changes. I spaced out your letters, added splashes of some nice warm greens and blues. I don't know if you guys have horses, but there's a horse for you. Going green is really big now, so... And this is a hammer because that's the main tool that you use in the game. Next I have BLK water. Could be black water though because the water is in fact black. Nothing about this logo communicates that it's a beverage to me. It just needed to be said. Your icon looked like a clown with a receding hairline. Your product is pretty tasty so I gave it the logo it deserves. We have a gorgeous drop of water. I added the word water so people don't get confused that they are in fact drinking water. I also added a nice tagline that reiterates again this is in fact water. Last but not least, we have Windows, and I say that for a special reason. Windows only follows one person, and that happens to be me. I feel so special. I like the idea of your logo, but it's really poorly executed. I felt like I deserved this, so you guys can take a screenshot and make you a new profile picture. I'd love to see that. Can't wait to be your new president. Thank you.